everyone, this is Midnight Mommy. So for today's tutorial, ituturo ko sa inyo tungkol sa work. Now, yung work sa physics, um, it has a different meaning. Kasi minsan, di ba iniisip natin, kapag work, ibig sabihin nag exert tayo ng effort. So sa physics, ibang definition natin ng work. So ang work is defined as a scalar quantity. So kapag sinabi natin na scalar quantity, ibig sabihin nun, um, hindi natin pinapansin yung direction. So hindi natin kinoconsider ang direction sa ating um, equation. Okay, so, ang work is defined as a force applied to an object causing a displacement. So, meron tayong dalawang main components ng work. So, yan yung force at saka yung displacement. And ang unit na ginagamit natin sa work is joule. So, ang joule ay isang derived unit. So, ibig sabihin galing siya sa equation. It's a combination of two units. So, yung combination na yun is your newton meter. So, the unit na newton meter is equivalent to joule. So, ganito ang equation ng ating work. So, work is equal to Fd cosine theta. So, meron tayo ditong uh, force times the displacement times the cosine of theta. So, yung theta na to, ito yung angle between the force and the displacement. So, pakita ko sa inyo kung paano nakaka-affect yung ating angle doon sa computation natin ng work. So, kunwari, meron kang table and then gusto mo siyang itulak doon sa right para mamove mo siya. So, obviously, since nag-exert ka ng force going to the right, yung movement ng table o yung kanyang displacement is also to the right. Yan. So, kaya dito, pwede natin sabihin na kung i-drawing natin yung directions natin, pwede natin sabihin na yung angle, okay, yung theta, yung theta o yung angle between the force and the displacement is equal to zero. Okay? So, kung titignan natin again, balikan natin yung equation natin for work. So, that's Fd cosine theta. So, kung papalitan natin yung theta dito ng um, zero, so magiging Fd cosine of zero. So, alam natin na ang cosine zero sa calculator, pag in-input nyo yan, this one is just equal to one. So, in this case, pwede natin itong makancel kasi one lang ang equivalent nito. So, therefore, yung ating equation for work magiging Fd na lang. Okay? So, ang tawag natin dito is positive work. Yan, positive work. So, therefore, pwede natin i-generalize to na pwede kang magkaroon ng positive work done kapag ang force and displacement are in the same direction. Okay, so same direction sila dapat. So, kunwari, um, meron kang plate and then inangat mo yung plate. So, nag-exert ka ng upward force dun sa plate and then at the same time, yung displacement ng plate is also upwards. So, doon pwede natin sabihin, na you have applied a positive work done on the plate. So, balikan natin yung example natin kanina na yung table na pinupush natin sa right. Ngayon, kung yung table natin pinupush natin sa right, definitely meron ka rin uh, force of friction galing dun sa floor. Now, yung force of friction natin, it is acting opposite dun sa direction na ating displacement. So, yung, kung yung table natin is papunta dun sa right, ang direction ng ating for friction force is going to the left. So, pag ganito, tingnan natin, ano yung magiging angle between your force and your displacement? So, yung angle theta natin dito is equal to 180 degrees. So, kung babalikan natin yung equation natin ng work, so work is equal to Fd cosine theta. And kung papalitan natin yung value ng theta ng 180 degrees, yung value ng cosine 180 degrees kapag in-input natin sa calculator, this one is equal to negative 1. So therefore, ito, yung cosine 180, marireduce na lang ito sa negative 1 dito sa ating equation. So ano ibig sabihin nito? Pag sinimplify natin to ang magiging sagot natin is work is just equal to negative Fd. So in this case, ito yung tinatawag natin na negative work. Okay? So nagkakaroon tayo ng negative work done kapag yung ating force and displacement are acting in the opposite directions. Okay, opposite directions sila. Balikan natin yung example natin ng table kanina. So, yung table, habang tinutulak natin, syempre, meron din yung normal force. So, saan galing yung normal force? Yung normal force galing doon sa ating floor. Okay, so, yung direction ng normal force na yun is upward on the table. So, ang direction ng normal force is upward and yung ating displacement is going to the right. So, remember yung table natin is nag-move siya sa right. So, ano yung angle dito between the force and the displacement? 
So, itong angle na to, the angle between the force and the displacement is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so kung papalitan ulit natin dun sa equation natin ng FD cosine theta, yung theta ng 90 degrees, so magiging FD times cosine 90, yung cosine 90 degrees is equal to 0. Okay, so since magiging 0 na itong cosine 90, ibig sabihin FD times 0 is also equal to 0. So therefore, ang work done natin is equal to 0. So nagiging possible na ang work done mo is equal to 0 kapag ang force and displacement mo is acting perpendicular to each other. Okay, so perpendicular sila. Okay, perpendicular to each other. Okay? So bukod dyan, of course, ang work done mo pwede rin maging 0. For example, um, nagtulak ka ng wall. So yung wall, kahit na napakalaki ng force na exert mo sa wall, since hindi naman gumagalaw yung wall, wala tayong displacement. So in that case, wala kang work done on the wall. So ang work done mo on the wall is just equal to zero. So now tingnan naman natin kung paano natin gagamitin yung equation ng work sa mga sample problems. So a horse is towing a barge with a rope that makes an angle of 20 degrees with the canal. If the force exerts a force of 400 newtons, how much work does it do in moving the barge 1 kilometer? Susulad po na natin yung mga given natin. So, given tayo dito ng angle na 20 degrees. Okay, so ito yung angle ng rope okay, with the canal. Now, in this case, meron din tayo rito force. So, yung force natin is 400 newtons. And given tayo ng displacement na 1 kilometer. Now, tandaan natin na sa unit natin ng joules, that is equivalent to newton meter. Kaya itong 1 kilometer, kailangan natin itong i-convert sa meter. So, ang 1 kilometer, kapag kinonvert natin sa meter, this one is equal to 1,000 meters. So, ngayon na meron tayong mga given, so i-compute na natin yung work. So, gagamitin lang natin yung formula ng work na Fd cosine theta. So, substitute lang natin to. So, ang force natin is 400 newtons. Displacement natin is 1,000 meters. And cosine ng angle natin na 20 degrees. So, kapag ito in-input natin sa calculator, ang final answer dito would be 3.76 times 10 to the 5th joules. Now, 5 kilogram weight is suspended in the air by a strong cable. How much work is done in suspending the weight? First, i-analyze muna natin yung problem. So, kung gagawa natin to ng force diagram, ito yung ating force diagram. So, kung ito yung ating uh, 5 kilogram weight, meron tayong, um, sabi dyan, naka-attach sa isang strong cable. So, that means meron ka ditong tension force. And then, at the same time, meron ka rin, of course, Fg. Okay? So, yung dahil dun sa weight ng ating object. Now, sinabi rito na suspended siya in air. So, kung suspended to in air, ibig sabihin, relatively speaking, at rest yung ating object. Okay, so kung at rest siya, wala siyang movement along the vertical, that means your displacement is just equal to zero. Now, since ang displacement niya is equal to zero, and alam natin na ang formula for finding the work is equal to Fd cosine theta. So, since yung D natin is already equal to 0. That means, ang work done natin sa situation na to is just equal to 0. Again, dahil wala kang displacement. Now, a 10 kilogram object experiences a horizontal force which causes it to accelerate at 5 meters per second squared. Moving it a distance of 20 meters horizontally. How much work is done by the force? Okay, so identify natin yung mga given natin. So, meron tayong mass dito na 10 kilograms. And then, given tayo na acceleration na 5 meters per second squared. And given din tayo ng distance na in this case, ito yung displacement ng ating object, which is 20 meters. So, ang tinatanong sa atin is the work done by the force. Okay. Now, since yung movement ng ating object is um, along the horizontal, and in this case, we can assume here, na yung angle between your force and your displacement is just equal to zero. So, um, balikan natin yung formula natin for work, which is Fd cosine theta. Okay, so 
wala tayong given na force. Pero given sa atin ang mass and acceleration. So, alam natin ang formula for finding the net force is equal to mass times the acceleration. So, pwede muna natin to i-compute. So, compute natin yung force, multiply natin yung mass na 10 kilograms doon sa acceleration na 5 meters per second squared. So, ang makukuha nating sagot dito is 50 newtons. So, since meron na tayong computed value ng force, gagamitin ngayon natin yung sa equation natin ng work. So, papalitan natin dito yung force ng 50 newtons. And then, yung ating displacement is 20 meters. So, since the same direction ng force and displacement natin, so yung angle natin dito is equal to zero. So, therefore, yung ating work done will be equal to 1,000 joules. A warehouse worker carrying a 50 kilogram sack of rice on his back walk 20 meters from the storage area to the delivery van. How much work does the man do on the sack of rice? Okay, so identify muna natin yung mga given. So given tayo dito ng mass na 50 kilograms and meron tayong displacement na 20 meters. So yung ating worker is bit-bit niya yung ating 50 kilogram sack of rice. So obviously para makarga niya yung isang sako ng bigas, kailangan Yung kanyang applied force doon sa isang sako ng bigas should also be equal to the weight of the sack. Now, i-drawing natin yung diagram ng situation. Now, yung direction ng force na applied ng ating worker is upward. So, ito yung applied force. And then, naglakad siya. Okay? So, naglakad siya. So, ibig sabihin yung direction niya is along the horizontal. So, i-analyze natin yung situation. Now, yung direction ng applied force na in-exert ng worker dun sa sack is going upwards. Okay? Kasi para ma-support niya yung weight ng ating sack. Pero yung kanyang movement is along the horizontal. So, kung i-assume natin na ang, ito ang direction natin along the horizontal, therefore, we can say that the angle between your force and displacement is equal to 90 degrees. So, kung gagamitin natin yung formula natin ng work, which is equal to Fb cosine theta, we know na yung value ng ating cosine of 90 degrees is just equal to zero. So therefore, itong buong equation na to is just reduced to zero. So in this case, there is no work done by the worker on the sack of rice. Yan, so sana po nakatulong pa ng malaki sa inyo itong tutorial for work kasi maraming students na nalilito sa concept na to. So, lagi natin tatandaan na pagdating sa computation ng work, kailangan i-analyze nyo muna mabuti yung direction between the force and the displacement. So, I'll see you guys on my next video.